going on guys? Rhino Tool back here again for Rotner Fresh Season 3, Tourney of the Ages. The next episode is here guys. Let's take a look at the bracket real quickly. The left side of the bracket is all done. All eight of those matches are out of the way. We got eight more matches to go in round one. We're now on the right side, on the blue bracket now. And we have two competitors right here. They're excited to play. Whoever's going to come out on top, it's going to be insane. It's going to be fun. And you guys are going to have a blast watching this match at home. Without further ado, let's introduce these two competitors. Our first competitor is our returning competitor. And it's been a long time since we've seen this guy. And think back. He was in the very first episode of Rottener Fresh. He didn't put up the most points. He put up six points. And then we invited him back for the redemption episode for season one. And he didn't put up that much either. Only four points. So altogether that's ten. I'm not making fun of you man. That's ten points. He's been telling me and Cody every single day like I want to come back. I'm ready to go. And now he is back. This is his third time now. Hopefully you know who this guy is. He has a huge subscriber base. That is Matthew V. Haynes. Matthew, welcome back, man. Thanks for having me back, Ryan. I am excited to see what happens today. I'm very interested to see what's going to happen today. Thank you. And the challenger, our new competitor, entering the Rotner Fresh Arena. He also has a very good channel. He has around 3,000 subscribers. And I checked this guy out before. He has a lot of movie reviews on there. And the main reason I know him is because of the Next Generation Film Awards that he's hosted on one of the Season 2 competitors last year, Austin Putnam. I was on the Next Generation Film Awards. Thank you, John. And I'm excited to see him compete. He's watched a few of the matches, and he's excited to play. That is John Maffio from Mothman Jones. John, welcome to the show, man. I'm so happy to be here, and I'm just pumped to be ready to kick some ass. And I have my fish fillet, so I'm, I'm juiced up. As you know, whoever wins this match is moving on in round two. And whoever the loser is, is eliminated. We'll find out the answer to those questions right now. Without further ado, let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one, the solo round, gentlemen, works as follows. You're going to get eight questions in round one. And you'll only have 20 seconds to answer each question in round one. Your goal, guys, is to guess what the Rotten Tomato score is of that specific movie. If you get that question right, if you get a perfect score in round one, you get two points. If you don't get a perfect score, whoever the closest to the score without going over gets one point. Guys, you're going to be writing all of your answers down in round one on your piece of paper or whiteboard for this round. When I call your name, guys, please show your answers to your cameras and say what you have written down. All right, guys, your first question in round one comes in the category of our special category Margot Robbie Margot Robbie movies and your movie gentlemen is definitely her most unknown movie it's called Suicide Squad directed by David Ayer starring Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn and Will Smith as Deadshot that masterpiece yeah, it's such a definitely we can all agree it's the most hated DCEU movie as of today Oh, I mean, yeah. I was excited for it. I love David Ayers, a very underrated director, but man, this movie's not good. Will Strell is a good job if people want to see it. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, we're going to start with the returner. Matthew, what do you have, man? I put 28%. All right, and John? I put 26%. All right, very low scores for this one, and we're starting off hot already with a perfect score. And it's Matthew. Matthew, you got the perfect score, man. It is 28%. So two points to Matthew. Already on the board. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matthew, let's see if you can continue with a perfect score, because your next category is comic book movies and graphic novels. And keep that in mind. Comic book movies. Your movie, guys, is Spider-Man 2. Came out in 2004. It was directed by Sam Raimi, starring Tobey Maguire and Alfred Molina, Doc Ock. And what else, uh, what else about Spider-Man 2 needs to be said? One of the best sequels and one of the best comic book movies ever made, period. It's pizza time. That train scene. <laughs> w WTF that train scene. Five, four... Three, two, 
one, and stop. All right, John, what score do you have? I, I, know, I think it's pretty high, but 87%. Okay, and Matthew? I played it safe and won 76%. All right, and the person who was closest to the score was John this time. John, it's a really high score. It's 93%. 93. Really? That high? Yeah, that so high. W- one point goes to John. Ooh. All right, guys, your next category is sci-fi. Sci-fi. And your movie is The Island of Dr. Moreau. It came out in 1996, directed by John Frankenheimer, starring Marlon Brando and Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Never heard of this movie before, but I've heard of those two actors. They're very legendary. What is the score? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, Matthew, what do you have? I went 75. All right, and John? I went a little lower, 62%. Okay, gentlemen, uh, think about this. Uh, you both actually went over the score, and you think with those actors it'd be high, but it's actually 24%. What? 24. <laughs> you both went like, over. Watch it be yeah, trash. So nobody, no <laughs> points have been rewarded. Oh. All right, That's let's see so if you can get cool. points for this next category. That is action adventure movies. And your movie is... Free Willy came out in 1993. Directed by Simon Winsor, starring Jason James Richter and Lori Petty. That movie, man. So good. What if I told you I never saw it? It's very underrated. You should go check it out. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, John, what do you have? Uh, I kind of went modest here, 74%. All right. Matthew? I went with 88%. All right. This is a very good movie, guys, but Rotten Tomatoes didn't really think so. You both went over. It's a middle-of-the-road score. It is 57%. 57. <sighs> 57. Wow. So no points again have been rewarded. It's That's very weird. weird. Rotten Tomatoes is weird sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys, your next category is going to be Westerns. Westerns. Your movie is Seraphim Falls. Came out in 2007, directed by David Vaughn Ankin, starring Liam Neeson and Pierce Brosnan. Oh, man, this is the movie right here. It's got Qui-Gon Jinn, and it's got James Bond in one Western. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, Matthew, what do you have? I went with 70%. All right, John, what do you have? I keep keep going lower and lower now, 59%. All right, and... This is a very interesting indeed for this score. Someone was really close. They went a little bit over. Again, both of you guys went over. John, you were the closest. It's 55%. So oh, no wow. points again have been rewarded on this question. <laughs> <laughs> we're off to a great start. Whoa. Wow. All I right. Kill Neil with the free throw line. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see if you can get this one. The next category is horror movies and your movie is 28 days later came out in 2003 it's directed by danny boyle starring killian murphy and naomi harris now that danny boyle is out of the running to direct bond 25 are you guys excited for bond 25 i'm not sure yeah it's gonna be a wild card Mm -hmm. i just hope daniel craig I just hope it's great. That's all I ask. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, John, what do you have? Uh, I'm going with 
Seventy-six percent. All right, Matthew. I went with twenty percent. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. The person who was closest to the score was John. John, you were the closest. It's a high score, Ooh. Matthew. It's eighty-seven percent was the score. The time I think a horror movie actually gets a low score, it's a high score. <laughs> so Every that's time. one point to John. <laughs> Our, all right, guys, the seventh question. Hopefully this is better, because the next category is new releases. These are movies that just came out this year. And your movie is Show Dogs. That fucking oh movie. God. Directed by oh, Raja Gosnell, God. starring Will Arnett in Ludacris as a fucking dog. Ludacris. <laughs> oh, man, He's this boy. <laughs> I unfortunately saw this movie. It's definitely either my number one or my second worst film of this year so far. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, we're starting with Matthew. Matthew, what do you have? I put a beautiful 15%. All right, John? Just underneath, I put 13%. <sighs> <laughs> Very low scores for this one, but someone was really close to the actual score, and it's Matthew. Matthew, you were really close, man. 17%. 17. (laughs) So that's one more point to Matthew. Good job. Let's go. (laughs) All right, and guys, your final question in round one comes in the category of romantic comedies. Rom-coms. Your movie is Can't Buy Me Love. Came out in 1987, directed by Steve Rash, starring Patrick Dempsey and Amanda Peterson. I got nothing to say because I haven't seen this movie. Neither have I. <laughs> Same. <laughs> that, makes three, it, that makes three of us. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, John, what do you have? Uh, I don't have faith in this movie. Forty-eight percent. All right, Matthew. I put sixty-five. All right, and the person who was closest to the score was really close. That's John. John, you were two points from the score. It was forty. Was it? Yeah, fifty. Fifty percent, right in Damn. the middle. So that's Oof. one point to John. Nice. Man. Man, that concludes round one. Now let's go to round two. Round two, the solo round, works as follows. Gentlemen, for this round, you're going to be saying your answers and not writing them down. You're going to pick two categories of your choice in this round, and then you're going to get three questions. And also keep in mind, guys, that multiple choice is available in round two. If you answer your question right without needing the multiple choice, you get two points. But if you do need multiple choice and you get it right, The point diminishes to one point. If you get your question wrong, however, your fellow opponent gets the opportunity to steal some points. And in round two, you're only going to have 15 seconds to answer each question. Once a category is chosen in round two, you can't pick it again. That category is out until the next round. All right, guys, since this is a tie game, Matthew, since he was the returning player, we asked Matthew if he would like to go first or defer to John, and Matthew decided to let John go first, our challenger. So, John, you get to pick your first category of choice. John, what's it going to be? I seem to do pretty good with comic movies, so I'm going to go with those. All right, comic book movies. He's going with comic book movies for John. All right, John, here's your first question in comic book movies and graphic novels as well. Keep that in mind. Here's your first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Hercules 2014? Oh, the rock. Any multiple choice on this one. All right, is it 54%, 59%, 48%, or 64%? That is correct. One point. All right, here's your next question, John. 
What is the Rotten Tomato score for X-Men Apocalypse? Is it 64%? That is incorrect. Matthew, this is a two-point steal. I'm going to go with 55%. 55 is also incorrect. It was 48%. 48. Wow. Ouch. Uh, all right. And your final question in comic book movies, John. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Thor Ragnarok? I think I know, but I'm going to take multiple choice. To be sure. All right. Is it 92%, 87%, 85%, or 90%? I'm gonna go with 90. That is incorrect. Matthew, this is a one point steal. Uh, can I have the options again? Yep, is it 92, 87, 85, or 90? 92. That's correct. That's a one point steal. Good job, Matthew. Big steal. Big steal. And Matthew, we're going right to you now. What's your first category gonna be? I think I know what it uh, is. Yeah, Margaret Robbie movies, please. Margot Robbie, it is for Matthew. All right, Matthew, here's your first question in Margot Robbie. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Focus 2015? That is without a doubt a 55%. That's correct. That's correct, Matthew. Two points. All right, Matthew, your next question. Which of Margot Robbie's acted movies is her highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? I, Tanya, 90%. Correct! He studied Margot Robbie, guys. That I is did, correct. I did, I did, I <laughs> did. Well, let's see if you can get this last one, Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Goodbye, Christopher Robin, 2007? That is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I studied that one. That is a 64%. That is incorrect. John, this is a two-point steal. I was close, I was close, I was close. You don't get multiple... Do you get multiple choice? No, you don't get multiple choice if he doesn't choose it. I saw this too. I, that, it's not 62. this year's Christopher Robin. Did you say 62? That's right. That is also incorrect. Guys, you oh. both got Jay Vader. It's 63%. Oh! No! 1%! <laughs> Chicken fingers, one man! God that guy has to that one too, man! <laughs> <laughs> Insert Jay Vader's clip here. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was awesome. Hilarious. All right, John. John, what's your final category gonna be? <laughs> oh, gonna go with new releases. New releases. He's going with new releases. All right, John. Here's your first question in new releases. What is the Rotten Tomato score? For Avengers Infinity War. Matthew is shitting himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take multiple choice on this. Alright, multiple you choice. Sure. Is it 94%, 87%, 92%, or 90%? I'm gonna go with 90. It's the first. 94 is incorrect. Matthew, this is a one point steal. All right, last time I checked, I don't know if they <coughs> changed it after that, but I will go with 90. 92 is also incorrect. It's 84%. It's way too low. Okay. Just add a 9. It's not. It should be 94. All right, John, here's your next question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Skyscraper or Sky Hard? <laughs> I'm going to take multiple choice. All right. Is it 37%, 46%, 50%, or 44%? 46. He's correct. That's one point. And finally, John, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the Nun? I know it's low. So I'm going to take multiple choice. Is it 27%, 22%, 35%, or 16%? 16%. 16%. 16%. 
15%. That is incorrect. Matthew, this is a one point steal. All right, um, can I get uh, the multiple choice again? Yep, is it the movie's The Nun <laughs> and the score the scores are 27, 22, 35, or 16? Um, I'll go with 35%. That is also incorrect. It's A, 27. 27. Okay, all right. All right, Matthew, what's your final category okay. going to be? All right, I'm going to go with animated. Animated, good choice. Animated movies. Cody's happy. All right, guys, here's your... Matthew, here's your first question in animated. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Dumbo? Uh, can I get a multiple choice on that? Yep. Is it 88%, 97%, 94%, or 100%? Uh, I'm going to go with 97. Give him a point. That is correct. That's correct. Good guess. Here's your next question, awesome. Matthew. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Over the Hedge 2006? Uh, multiple choice, please. It's a 38%, 47%, 75%, or 57%. Um, I'm going to go to 57%. That is incorrect. John, one point steal. Can I repeat of the choices, please? Sure, is it 38, 47, 75, or 57? 38. That's also incorrect. It was C, 75%. 75. All right, Matthew, your final question in animated. How many Pixar movies are rated between 70 through 79% on Rotten Tomatoes? 70 through 79. Um, Five, four, seven? Three. Seven is incorrect. John, this is a two-point steal. I'm just trying to go through the movies as quick as I can right now. Four? He said four. That's correct! That's a two-point steal. That's a big oh, steal for John. Those movies Oof. were Brave, Monsters University, The Good Dinosaur, and Cars, the first one. Hey. Good job, good job, John. Good steal. That concludes round two. Now it. let's go to the listing round. Round three, the listing round works as follows. Gentlemen, you're gonna have a minute this time, 60 seconds, to write as many movies as you can. Now this question can be an actor or an actress working in Hollywood right now, and you're gonna have a minute to think of as many movies as you can and write them down. And each correct answer in round three is worth one point. And then once the time is up and I call your name to reveal your films, please reveal your answers one by one so I can check to see if the movie is on there. Here's your question in round three. List as many films as you can, 60% and below on Rotten Tomatoes. Featuring the actor, Jamie Foxx. Now, Jamie Foxx, he's been in a lot of movies, a lot of great movies. We felt it would be an interesting question, and we said below. And these guys have 23 movies to think of right here. So it's really any man's game. How many movies can he, these guys think of in a minute? And we're coming at 30 seconds. Now, Matthew has nine points as of right now, and John has seven points. Who's going to take the lead? Will Matthew keep his lead, or will John sneak up in here? So this round can make or break your game. And we got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Pens down and stop. All right, we are going to start with John. John, what movies could you think of, man? I had a little bit of a brain fart, but I thought of... I had, Amazing Spider-Man 2 did not get good critical analysis and collateral. So you said The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and collateral? Yes. All right. 
And The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was on there, but not Collateral. Collateral has an 86%. So that's one point for John. One point. Okay, now Matthew, what movies could you think of? All right, so I could only think of two. Um, I put Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Annie. Yeah, yeah, both of those movies were on there, Matthew. Annie and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So that's two points for Matthew. So now, gentlemen, let's go over all the movies that you missed, and there's a lot. So we got Toys, 27%. The Great White Hype, 43%. Booty Call, 25%. The Players Club, 31%. Any Given Sunday, 51%. Held Up, 17%. Bait, 26%. Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, 43%. Breaking All the Rules, 31%. Stealth, 13%. Stealth. Miami Vice, 47%. The Kingdom, 51%. The Soloist, 57%. Law Abiding Citizen, 26%. Valentine's Day, 18%. Due Date, 40%. A Man's Story, 33%. White House Down, 50%. Rio 2, 46%. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, 52%. Horrible Bosses 2, 34%. Annie, Annie 29%. Sleepless, 23%. That does it for round three. Now let's hopefully go to the next round. All right, guys, we're here. Round four, the higher or lower round. It's a really close game right now. Matthew has 11 points and John has eight points. So this could be anybody's game right here. Who's going to come out on top and who's going to come out on the bottom? We're finding out right now the higher or lower round works as follows. Gentlemen, you're going to be picking three numbers in the final round ranging from 1 through 11 and those point values those questions have different point values the first question is worth one point the second question is worth three points and your final one is worth five points i'm going to give you a movie in whatever category it is and a random score it's your guys goal to guess if that score is higher or lower than the actual rotten tomato score if you get your question right then you get how many points the question is worth and the person who ends up on top moves on and the loser is eliminated and there will be sudden death if necessary so we are going to start with matthew matthew you're in the lead right now you get to pick your three numbers first matthew one through eleven all right all right so i'm gonna go with one five and ten. One, five, and ten John, what are your three numbers? I got two, seven, and eight. Two, seven, and eight for John. So John, you are behind by three points right now. We're, you got some questions here to answer. You just got to hit your three and your one to be on top. So let's go to your one point question, John. And that category is in number two. That is comedy. Comedy for one point, John. In your movie is Paul Blart, Mall Cop, <laughs> 2009. Okay. 30%, John. Higher or lower? I'm going to say that it's higher. <clears throat> he said higher. John? That is correct. That's correct. Not much higher. It's 32%. Still one point to John. It is now 9 to 11. Now, John, if you hit your three-point question, you bounce it over to Matthew for his one-point question. So, John, your next number that you chose was number 7. That corresponds to the category of action-adventure movies for three points. John, your movie is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, 1991. 52%, John, higher or lower? I'm gonna go higher with this one, too. John, that is that's incorrect. 
Incorrect. It's lower. Not much lower. It's smack dab in the middle. 50%. 50. Now, it's come down to this. Wow, John. You have to hit this, man, to bounce it over to Matthew. If you don't hit it, John, then Matthew wins, and he is moving on in the tournament. So, John, are you ready for your five-point question? Bring it on. All right. Let's do this, man. All right, John, your final number that you chose was number eight. And that corresponds to the category of comic book movies and graphic novels for five points. Your movie, John, is Batman, Mask of the Phantasm, 1995. 86%, John. Higher or lower? 86%? 86. <sighs> I got Five, a good feeling about this. Four, three, I'm gonna say higher. Two, one. He said higher. John, higher. Incorrect! Incorrect! Oh. It's lower! Wow. 82%! And Matthew! Matthew, congratulations, man! You won! You're moving on Friday. to round two! Yes! 11 to yes. 9! Matthew, you came out on top, man! Congratulations! John, man, it came down to a five point question, a Batman question. But, John, man, you tried your hardest, man. You fought your way through. You definitely made it a good competition for Matthew. But, man, just didn't go your way this time. But, John, give us your final overall thoughts. I just, yeah, I, I agree. I made a couple mistakes, a couple steals that, got, went, that didn't go my way. But I had a lot of fun here, and this was a great competition. And I want to thank Matthew for being a great competitor. I want to thank you and Cody for being awesome hosts. And I hope I can be back again soon. You can pretty much find me anywhere on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on YouTube, and Stardust at Mothman Jones. Two Fs. No spaces. Well, thank you, John, for being a part of this, man. You'll. This is definitely not the last time we've seen you, man. But, Matthew, you finally came out on top. Third time is a charm. You said you were going to do better, and you definitely did better this time, man. Well, Matthew, give us your final overall thoughts, man. Well, first, all I got to say is thank you, both you guys, for having me on here to finally get a chance to win at least one match. That's very, very well. And, John, thanks for being a good competitor. And I just can't wait to see what happens in the next round, man. Thank you guys so much for having me on here. All right, so you guys can find me on everything, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all at Matthew V. Haynes. All right, Matthew, and since you are moving on in the tournament, which you are, the next time we will see you is in November in round two. You won't find out who you're facing yet until November, but stay tuned to that, man. You got big competition. It's not going to be easy at all. Thank you guys so much for watching this match. This was a blast, and let us know all your thoughts again. Thank you to Matt and John. Please go check out their channels. They're awesome dudes and awesome friends. And now we're going to go to our next match, which is Jeff from Jafito's Movie Blog going up against Rudy from Rudy's Movie Reviews. And Cody is hosting that one. So, Cody, take it away, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rotten or Fresh Season 3, Turning for the Ages. You just watched a great one. We're just going to continue the fun. That's what we do around here. My name is Cody O'Toole. You guys should know who I am by now. The co-commissioner of Rotten or Fresh, hosting this match for you guys. Two more competitors for you, of course, a returning competitor and a new challenger coming into the arena. We're excited to introduce them. I've been looking forward to this match. 
Let's introduce these competitors, starting with our returning player. Another third time appearance for another competitor. And this guy, you know, he's been around for a while on the show. Huge supporter of the show and a great movie reviewer in his own right. Hasn't put up the most points in his time on the show, but I know he's looking to do a lot better this time around. We're giving him another opportunity here. And he just has fun, and he's a great guy all around. Jeff from Jafito's Movie Blog. Jeff, welcome back, man. Hey guys, thanks for having me back on. It's great. Hopefully I do better than my last appearances, but again, it's all about having fun. And if I make an ass out of myself, so be it. I'm just happy to be back here. Now, let's introduce the challenger. A very good movie reviewer. Me, personally, I hadn't really known much about this guy, but of course, I gotta prepare like a good host and I watch some of his videos, and man, very insightful, does a lot of retro reviews, a lot of trailer reactions, he's fun. That is Rudy from Rudy's Movie Reviews. Rudy, welcome to the show. Gentlemen, thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. One of you will be moving on to round two, and unfortunately, one of you will be eliminated. Those questions will be answered very shortly. Let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's play Rotten or Fresh. Round one is the free-for-all round, and it works as follows. We're going to be asking you guys eight questions in this round out of the 11 movie categories you were given for this match. We're going to give you a movie, and it is your goal to guess what the Rotten Tomatoes score is for that <laughs> film perfectly. If you get it perfectly, we'll give you two points. However, if none of you are able to do so, the person who is closest to the score without going over will get one point. You each will have 20 seconds to come up with an answer for this round. And once that time is up, I'll call each of you individually. When I do so, please show and say your answers to the camera in front of you at the same time. All right, guys, round one, question one, comes in the category of sports movies. Okay. Sports, sports. Your film is The Bad News Bears. 19, oh. 1976's Bad News Bears. Directed by know. Michael Ritchie and starring Walter Matho and Tatum O'Neill. Childhood right here for me. I love this movie. I watched this when I was a, a little a ton. And I'm sure you guys have too. <laughs> yeah. I've actually never seen it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Never seen it. It's been years. It's been years. A movie I've seen, but nobody else? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Jeff. What did you come up with? I got 76%. 76. And Rudy? I went with 70. Okay. All right. Middle of the road scores for this one, but... You guys will be very shocked by the score for this one. Jeff, you are going to get the point. It is a 97%. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Very, <laughs> very high praise for that terrible baseball team. But uh, <laughs> um, Jeff is going to start with one point. Nice job. All right. All right. Our second question for you guys is horror movies. Yes. Horror. My least favorite category. It's my genre. <laughs> yes. Your, okay. Your film... Yeah is Hostel, 2006, directed by Eli Roth, starring Jay Hernandez and Derek Richardson. I can't say much, but uh, I know Eli Roth has a movie out this past weekend. I do know that. So. Yeah, something totally different from what he's used to doing. So what yeah. was that movie? Uh, the Clock in Its Walls, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Jack Black. I love him. Five, four, three, two... One and stop. We'll start with Rudy. What did you come up with? 45%. All right. And Jeff? 63%. Okay. All right. A little bit of separation between both of your scores. But uh, one person went slightly over. So with that, Rudy, you are going to get on the board with one point. Jeff, it's, <laughs> six, it's 60%. Oh. 60. Close. Very close. Very close. Very close. So Rudy is on the board with one point. Nice job. All right, our next category for you guys is sci-fi movies. Sci-fi. Right. Awesome. Your film is Super 8. Came out in 2011. Love yeah. <laughs> Directed Excellent. by J.J. Abrams, starring Kyle Chandler and Ellie Fanning. And it's not spelled Super 8, it's the letter 8. Just, yeah, I don't know. I was trying to be Yeah. Funny. <laughs> I took my kids to go see that because the reviews were saying it's the Goonies of Next Generation. They were terrified, hiding behind me in the seats. I felt so bad. 
<laughs> well, there you go. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one, and stop. Jeff, what did you have? Maybe a little bit of personal bias, and maybe may have overshot it here, but 92%. All right. And Rudy? 83%. All right. One very high score. And, you know, they're both pretty high scores for sure. But, uh, wow. So, uh, you both went over. But we got a Jay Vaders on our hands. <laughs> Rudy, welcome to Rotner Fresh. It is an 82%. <laughs> uh, nice. That's not, but unfortunately, since you both went over, nobody's going to get points, though. So, oh, shit. No points for either one of you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Our, our next category is comic book movies. All right. Comic book. And keep in mind, this includes graphic novels. Your film is Matilda, 1996, oh. directed by Danny DeVito, starring Ray Perlman and Mara Wilson. Now, you might be surprised. It, it, what? Thank Tyler Tompkins for this question. He said this is a, he said this is a comic book movie, so uh, I don't know if he was joking or not. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, five, four, three, two... One and stop. We'll start with Rudy. What did you have? I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here. I went with 77 percent. Okay. And Jeff. 62 percent. Okay. So another very shocking score here. That's gonna shock all of you, Rudy. <laughs> you are gonna get one point. It is a 90 percent for Woo! Matilda. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Right. What? Rotten Tomatoes is shocking these two today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> that's going to be another point for Rudy. Yeah. Okay. Our next category is our special category for this match, Benedict Cumberbatch movies. Nice. Benedict Cumberbatch. Right. Say that last name ten times fast. Okay. Sorry. Your, <laughs> your film for you guys is The Imitation Game. came out in 2014. Directed by Morton Tildum, starring Benedict Cumberbatch and Kira Knightley. Really good movie. Yeah, I've heard it is, and yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch. I maybe he's not an underrated actor, but I really like yeah. him. Yeah. Does good. he do any bad movies? <laughs> I can't even one. It's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. We'll start with Rudy. What did you have? I went with eighty-nine percent. Ooh, high praise, and Jeff. 90%. Oh, oh, man. So we nice. have a 90% and an 89%. Wow. One point separates both of you. But one of you did get the perfect score. Jeff. Nice job, man. It's 90%. And how about two J Vaders for Rudy? God. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Rudy. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Two points for Jeff. Nice Do job. Do I get a there. t-shirt that says Jay Vader or something if I get another one? <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll, we'll definitely talk about that. Okay. All right. Your next category for you gentlemen is animated movies. Animated. Your film is Meet the Robinsons, 2007. Directed by Steven Anderson, starring Angela Bassett and Daniel Henson. Jeez. Now, I checked out this I, I know movie for the... Received. Yeah, I, I checked out this movie for the first time a couple days ago. Underrated Disney movie. I really think that. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but uh, I recommend it. It was a solid film. Yeah. Didn't even know it existed until long. now. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and stop. Jeff, what did you come up with? 72%. Okay. And Rudy? Uh, 45%. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So definitely some separation between the two of you. You both are kind of in the middle of the number, uh, but Jeff, you did go over. So Rudy, we're going to give you another point. It's a 67% for Meet the Robinsons. 67. So uh, another nice. point going to Rudy's way. Oops, oops, All right. Your, <laughs> your second to last category for you guys is Westerns. Oh, we oh, yes. The wonderful uh, Westerns. That. Your film is Dead Man, 1995. Directed by Jim... I'm going to butcher this. Jim Jarmusch, starring Johnny Depp. Maybe we've heard of it. Yeah, just... I haven't either, so... Uh, <coughs> we'll just uh, wait for 20 seconds to go by, and... Uh, 
<laughs> see what you're into. <laughs> I don't. I can't say much. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Jeff, what did you have? Ah, uh, shot in the dark, sixty-three percent. Shot in the dark, and Rudy. I went with David Robinson's jersey number with fifty percent. I like that little sports connection. Heck yeah! All right. <laughs> Well, you guys have somewhat low scores. One of you is fresh and one of you is rotten. This is a fresh score, so Jeff, you are going to get the point. And you weren't so far off. It's 74. 74%. So nice job there. One point to Jeff. All right, guys, your final category here in round one is a category you both will be like, uh, seeing that you're both movie reviewers. New releases. New releases. Right. Your film... Is the Happy Time Murders it came out in twenty eighteen? I actually enjoyed it. Okay, <laughs> I there actually you go. enjoyed it more than a lot of people did. Yeah, I didn't Directed want to waste money Hansen? on that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's starring Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Je- I like that, Jeff. You liked it. There you go. I didn't see it. Yeah, so yeah. I, see it. I mean, it, it is what it is. It, you know, yeah. to go in knowing that it's going to be a raunchy puppet sex comedy. <laughs> You know what you're paying There you go. For. Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, and stop. <laughs> Pop and sick, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just the way you explained it. Rudy, what did you have? Uh, I didn't see it, but I'm going with 40%. <laughs> okay. And Jeff? 22%. 22, you said? 22. All right. Yeah, pretty low scores for the both of you, and uh, according to Rotten Tomatoes, it deserves these low scores. But uh, Jeff, you nailed the perfect score, man. It is 22%. Nice job, man. Shit. Yeah. Don't get my ass handed to me. (laughs) There's still plenty of game left. Uh, That's two (laughs) points for Jeff. Nice job. And that's going to do it for round one, guys. Round two, the solo round. It works as follows. Each of you guys will get a chance to choose two categories of your choice in this round. And once you get your category, I will ask you three questions. If you're able to get the answer correctly without needing the aid of multiple choice, we'll give you two points. However, multiple choice is available in this round. And if you do choose multiple choice and get your question right, we will only give you one point. Get your question wrong, however, and your opponent gets the opportunity to steal and the same point values apply to them. Instead of 20 seconds, we'll give you 15 seconds for this round. And keep in mind, once a category has been chosen in this round, that category is out for the entire round. Alright, Rudy, you are behind at the moment, but still plenty of time left in the game. You get to choose your first category first. What's it going to be? Uh, what are the categories? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you don't have it in front of you? Okay, I'll quickly run my, down. It's on my phone and my phone's right here. Fair I enough. Don't, I don't have it. Fair enough. Yeah, so. Comic book, sci-fi, <laughs> horror, action adventure, comedy, animated, sports, new releases, westerns, rom-coms, or Benedict Cumberbatch? Oh, okay. Let's just go comic books then. Comic for book movies. <laughs> for four. <laughs> Com- <laughs> wrong game show. <laughs> comic <Yeah>. book <laughs> movies for Rudy is his selection. And here is your first of three questions, Rudy. What is mm-hmm. the what is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Thor: The Dark World, twenty thirteen? Ooh, I'm a, what's the multiple choice options? Is it fifty four percent, sixty six percent, forty eight percent, or fifty nine percent? I'm going to go with forty eight percent. Forty eight is incorrect. Jeff, a one point steal. Ah, uh, can I hear the multiple choice answers again? Yes. Is it 54, 66, 48, or 59? I will go 54. That is also incorrect. To everyone's surprise, it's the highest score with a 66% for Thor The Dark World. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Your second... I disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Your second... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure a lot of us do. Your second question, uh, Rudy, and keep in mind this includes graphic novels. What okay. is the Rotten Tomato score for the film We Are the Best, 2014? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good one. Uh, what's the, uh, multiple choice, please. Sure. Is it 80%, 93%, 87%, or 96%? I'm going to go with uh, 87%. 
87 is incorrect. Jeff, a one point <laughs> steal. <laughs> uh, I need the answers. Oh, the choices one more time, please. Sure. 80, 93, 87, or 96? Uh, 93. Ooh, that's also incorrect. It's 96. A lot of praise for this one. 96. <laughs> All right. Rudy, your final question in comic book movies is. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Batman Forever, 1995? <laughs> God, I remember when that came out. Uh, this is, again, multiple choice. Sure. Is it 39%, 31%, 45%, or 26%? No, it was acclaimed pretty well, so I'm going to go 45%. That's incorrect. Jeff, <laughs> okay. <laughs> one uh, point steal. I'll try 39%. One point steal for Jeff. Yeah, it's a 39%. Yeah. yeah. Not that far off wow. from 45, but unfortunately, uh, it is the 39, but that is one point to Jeff. And Jeff, with that momentum, you now get to choose your first category of choice. Ah, uh, new releases was good to me in round one. Let's keep it going. New releases here, round two. Okay, he's sticking with new releases. All right, Jeff. Here is your first question in new releases. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for the film Tag? Tag. <laughs> I liked it, but I think it was kind of mixed. Hmm. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm gonna go right down the middle Five? of the road with about 55 percent. 55. Jeff, I don't know if you guessed, but that is correct. Wow. <laughs> 55 percent i am not kidding wow. you <laughs> wow <laughs> i'm speechless wow. yeah jeff that is correct 55 percent okay right. <laughs> breathe okay second second question for you what is the rotten tomato score for the film ant-man and the wasp Ooh. okay I haven't seen it yet. If, it he, gets, if would... he gets this right, I'm just going to hang up and just let him win. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, can I get multiple choice, please? Sure. Is it 77%, 88%, 90%, or 84%? Uh, 84. That's incorrect. Rudy, a chance to steal here. Let's do this. Uh, what were the choices again, sir? 77, 88, 90, 84. No, people loved it, so I'm going to go with 90. People loved it, but that's also incorrect. <laughs> it's 88. Okay. 88%. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Shit. game. All right. <laughs> Here's your final question, Jeff, and new right. releases. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Mile 22? Oh, uh, Peter Berg, Mike Wahlberg, uh, the, yep. the, the yep. previous three films, but this one was a bit of a disappointment. Hmm. Um, I'm going to need multiple choice, but I think it's pretty low. Uh, all right. Is it 24%, 32%, 27%, or 16%? I don't think it's as low as 16. Go 24. One point for Jeff. Wow. Nice job. That is wow. correct. 24% is correct. Wow. All right, Rudy. We're back to you for your final category here in round two. Uh, I'm good. It was horror one of them? Horror was one of them. Yeah, I love horror. Let's do that. Okay, he's going with his strength. He says horror movies. <laughs> okay, here's your first of three questions. Maybe his strength, but it's my weakness. Yeah. <laughs> ah. right. right. All right. Tactics. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, Rudy. <laughs> Which Resident Evil movie has the highest percent on Rotten Tomatoes? Hmm. Uh, it's going to be the original Resident Evil, the part one. Surprisingly, that's incorrect. God damn it! Okay. Jeff, this is a two point steal here if you can get it. I don't even know the subtitles for all of them. I'm <laughs> and gonna I'm going to say... need that, yeah. <laughs> Is one of them like Afterlife? That is one of them, but that is also incorrect. It is Resident Evil The Final Chapter is the highest score. Wow. <laughs> really? Says, that last one? That I, was horrible. I, I, yeah, I, but it is the highest. 
I promise wow. you. Wow. With a 36% no, being be... the highest. So, Jeez. yeah. All right, we ne- move to your next question, Rudy. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Pulse 2006? Uh, multiple choice, please. 11%. 18%. 24%. 22%. I'm going to go 24%. 24 is incorrect. Jeff, a one-point steal. I've never even heard of it. Can I get the choices again? Sure. 11, 18, 24, 22. I'll go 18. That is also incorrect. It's actually quite low with 11% for Pulse. I've never even heard of it. This movie has really no pulse. <laughs> See what I did there? Ah, so, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, Sorry, I'll never ah, do that. See what he did there? See what he did? Ah, <laughs> All right, Rudy, your final question in horror movies. What is the Rotten Tomato sure. score for the film Wes Craven's New Nightmare, 1994? Ooh. Ooh. Well, I know it was well-received. Critics liked it because it was different. Um... I'm just going to take a shot in the dark here, okay. uh, 85%. Sometimes you got to take a shot in the dark, but unfortunately mm-hmm. that shot was incorrect. Jeff, a two-point steal here, and you've already shocked me already, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, horror is my weakness. <laughs> um, I'll go with maybe like a 74, 74%. You were not too far off. You both weren't too far off. That is incorrect. It's 78 for Wes Craven's New Nightmare. 78. But, uh, yeah, no points there. And, Jeff, we move now to your final category here. All right. Um, let's go with the special category, which I actually did some studying for Benedict Cumberbatch. All right. We will see if that studying paid off. Jeff, here is your first of three questions in Benedict Cumberbatch. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film War Horse? War Horse, 2011. 76%. That's incorrect. A two-point steal opportunity here, Rudy. You know what? I'm going for a guess, too. Why not? Um, 70%. Also very close, but incorrect. Jeff, you're going to kill us, man. You got Jay vader Oh, no. <laughs> it's, se- it's 75%. Oh, right. <laughs> and Rudy, you oh, weren't too wow. far off either. Oh, God. man. man. <laughs> uh, that's when I feel bad, but I love it at the same time. <laughs> okay, here's your second question in Benedict uh, for you, Jeff. Which of Benedict's acted movies is his lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? I'm going to need multiple choice, please. Is it The Current War, The Other Boiling Girl, Zoolander 2, or Creation? Uh, I'm going to say Zoolander 2. One point to Jeff. That is correct. That is correct. 23% for Zoolander 2. Not a good movie. Apparently he, he is in not so good movies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your final question here in Cumberbatch. What is the Rotten Tomato score for the film Atonement? 2007. Multiple choice. Is it 90%, 85%, 83%, or 89%? Uh, you got me. It's one of the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Five. 84. He pulled it off. One wow. point to Jeff. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That's tough. That's tough. But yeah, that is correct for Jeff. And with that, that concludes round two. Let's head to round three. Anything can happen in round three, guys. It's the listing round, and it works as follows. So you guys will have one full minute here. That's the difference this time around. One full minute to write down as many movies as you can related to the question we're going to ask you. This question can be about an actor or an actress. And again, one minute to write as many films as you can. 
Once that one minute is up, I'm going to ask each of you to reveal your answers individually. And once I do call on you, just go one by one of the movies you have. I'll check to see if it's on the list and we'll go from there. Each correct answer is worth one point. Gentlemen, your round three question is... List as many films as you can. 60% and above. 60% and above on Rotten Tomatoes. Featuring... The actress, Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Of course, in the upcoming Captain Marvel, that movie won't count, because, yeah, obviously not people have seen it. But there are 14 movies here for the gentleman to come up with here. Um, so, not so, so much, but still a good amount here. And, uh, not to put any pressure on Rudy, but he's definitely going to need some points here. Yeah. I have faith in him, though. Thank you. Make it, man. See, man. Fourteen movies. Brie Larson, one of the best actresses working right now. What are those movies? I can't tell you until the end. Like, yeah, I, can I get some hints here? I mean, sure. I'm, um, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> sure. There's fourteen movies. There's my hint. <laughs> okay. We get okay hints? Like really? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, you guys have. Fourteen of them. I've got one. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time, guys. Please put your pens down. The fun part now, we're going to go through each of your answers. Rudy, we will start with you, man. What films did you come up with? One by one, please. Okay. Uh, first one I have is Skull Island. Kong Skull Island is correct. Awesome. I also have I Suck at This Game and Suck at Trebek. <laughs> as much as I want to accept those answers, <laughs> I cannot. But you did get Kong Skull Island, and that Woo! is correct. So one point to Rudy. One point. Thank you. All righty. Jeff, one by one, please. What do you have? I only got two. Okay. Uh, Kong Skull Island, like he said, and also her Academy Award winning film, Room. That is also correct. That is two points for Jeff. Nice job there. I was there. drawing a blank how much we even starting in. <laughs> All right, now the fun part where we get to go over those 14 movies, and uh, you guys can be like, why did I say to do this? Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here are those 14 movies real quick. 13 going on 30, 64%. Greenberg, 75%. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. 81 percent. Right. <laughs> Damn it! I love Edgar Wright movies. Sorry. <laughs> Rampart, 74 percent. 21 Jump Street, 85 percent. Oh, what's in there? The Spectacular Now, 92 percent. Short Term 12, 98 percent. Don John, 80 percent. Train Wreck, 85 percent. Room, 94 percent. Digging for Fire, 64%. The Unicorn Store, 60%. That's an interesting one. Um, Kong Skull Island, 75%. And Free Fire, 68%. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. So wow. uh, those are the 14 <laughs> movies. And we are not going to need a round four, ladies and gentlemen, because, <laughs> Jeff, you have 14 Whoa. points. And Rudy, you have four points. And in round four, there is only a total of nine points worth getting. So, with that being said, we have a TKO. Jeff from Jafito's Movie Blog. Congratulations, man. You are moving on to round two. Wow. This was still a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a ton of fun doing this. Man, I'm, <laughs> I love this show. But I want to hear from both of you guys, starting with Rudy. I know going in, you wanted to have a good time, and, you know, you, I, I think you weren't giving yourself enough confidence, man, because you still had your chances, you still had your opportunities, but unfortunately, it just came up short today, man. I want to hear from you, though. Give us your final thoughts. Hey, guys, it was fun. I had a great time doing this. Uh, I'm going to go brush up on my Brie Larson knowledge, because you could have just made up every one of those titles that would believe you, like, okay, sure, why not? <laughs> I couldn't, <laughs> I had no idea she was in so many films, but uh, 
this I had fun. It was a blast. It was a pleasure meeting everybody here. You know, I see you guys on YouTube, but it's cool to talk to y'all one on one. I had a great time, man. I know I was just TK note. I was Glass Joe, like in the Mike Tyson punch out game, and sucked. But it was it was awesome, dude. I enjoyed being here. Hey guys, you can find me on YouTube. I'm under Rudy's Movie Reviews. I'm also on Instagram with the same title and Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there. I don't do a lot of first run releases, but I do a lot of retro reviews. I have a lot of fun doing that. And check me out if you like the video. Subscribe and join the team. Super honored to have you on the show, Rudy. This is definitely won't be your last time on the show. We're looking forward to seeing you on in the future for sure. But Jeff, your first win and you're rotting a fresh career, man. Congratulations. The studying paid off. You're moving on to round two. I want to hear from you, man. What do you got? I am shocked. I am speechless at, at the moment. Uh, given, given my past performances on the show, uh, the two or three times previous that I've been on here have not done well at all. I just wanted to have fun. I did a little bit of studying this afternoon, and yeah, I guess it paid off in new releases and Benedict Cumberbatch because had a couple of perfect scores. But hats off to Rudy for his first time in the ring. He put up a good fight, and I think he will be a good competitor down the road. You guys can find me here on YouTube at Chefito's Movie Blog. I do movie news, movie reviews, trailer reactions, box office talk. All sorts of fun stuff. I'd love to have you join in my little community that I'm building here. Absolutely. Dr. Strange was on your side today, Jeff. Congratulations, man. You are moving on to round two in the tournament, joining some very, very good company. You won't know who you're going up against until November because that's when the next time we're going to see you on the show. But we're very much looking forward to seeing you back. We can't thank you both enough for taking part. It is, means the world to both Ryan and I. In the comments section, let us know what you're thinking, how crazy this match was. One of the funniest matches I've done. Just some random stuff was said and I love it. It was a great time. Thank you again, both of you, very, very much. And that's going to do it for this episode of Rotten or Fresh. we got a lot more matches coming here in round one, so stay tuned. The fun is just beginning with season three. All of Ryan's social media links are in the description box down below. Be sure to click that notification bell on your way out, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!